Hello, and welcome back. Club 6, episode 2, and our first full episode, shall we say, of games. Um, I couldn't decide whether to do Real Madrid in the league or our big game in the Champions League, because there was a game between. So I'm going to do both. Also, I don't know if anyone's told you, but Barcelona are pretty good. They just are. Just before we get into it, if you could like or subscribe on the video if you're enjoying the content, that would be greatly appreciated. Likewise, if you want to just pop in the comments how you think we're going to get on this season, as uh, as we said, or how you think we're going to play against the Real Madrid and Man United games we have today. As I'm sure you can see, the league has been nothing but fun so far. We'll go and pop over to our fixtures and show you how it's been getting on. So as you were aware, we played Elche and we won 5-1, where Antonio got a hat-trick. We then played Malaga, where Mariba got a hat-trick. Demir got a brace and Kulisevsky also got a brace in the 7-0 win. Girona, Antonio got a further second hat-trick. Then we played Nordschland and we won 6-1, with Antonio getting a goal and Mariba getting a hat-trick of penalties. And then we've just played Real Betis, where Claudio Avalanda, who was... Feeling left out, got himself a hat trick in a 6 1 win. The table is looking as follows. After four games, we've got a goal difference of 19, which is horrific. Um, and the league, Champions League group, is ourselves top, as you'd expect, with a goal difference of five. Manu and Eindhoven actually drew 2 2. And then Norgeland at the bottom after we slapped them about. We're now going to play Man U in that group, but just before we do so, we'll play our, I expect, main league rivals in Real Madrid at home. The transfers just before we get into the game, uh, we sold our backup goalkeeper, Santi Sanchez, to Villa for £33 million. Um, we loaned out David McElroy, who we got in for £1.2 million from Rangers. Just looks like he might be all right in a few years' time. Teo Hernandez went out. Um... Chirela, Simon, Jody Rocca and Hector. We never knew who they were, so I didn't think it was relevant to show you. Our goalkeeper situation was solved by Hank Van Hees, or Hank Van Hees from Villa, for 40, no, 53 million we bought him in for. He's come in and comfortably our best goalkeeper, so that's good. And our centre-back situation was so, sold, solved, that's the badger, solved by kicking off. Solved by Michele Gazetta. 85 million this little badger cost me. But I'm I'm pretty happy with the signing. He's he's exactly what I wanted. Centre back cover. Nothing too exciting, but can do it if needs be. 20 bravery is always fun. The only issue with him being only six foot, but I'm fine with us not getting a few goals from corners from him, but if he's gonna be stopping them scoring full stop, which would be nice. The Real Madrid lineup. We're going with Van Hees in goal, Wrench at right back, which we do have an issue because he's really our only right back, and to be fair, he's more of a centre back. So right back is my issue for the January transfer window. Gazetta and Gvardiol in the middle, Saka out on the left because Peter's injured. Pitta, however you want to call him, seven to two weeks with a pulled muscle. It's not ideal. Kulisevsky out on the right, Antonio on the left, Mariba as our playmaker, and Bertrand as the box-to-box -box midfielder. He's the only one that's kind of struggled, shall we say, with this formation. Everyone's scoring goals for fun, and he's he's not, really. He's still got an average of 7.1, but I don't know. He's just not doing as well as the others, but it's fine. I, I, can, I, can, I can let that go. Uh, and then we've got Demir playing behind Avalanda. Real Madrid are running with the 4-2-3-1, as probably can be expected, but their form is a bit questionable. And the table has this looking as such, with Real Madrid actually in 7th, so they've played 4 games, they've only picked up 7 points. I've already got a 5 point gap on them, and they've only played 4 games, so that's nice. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. 
Right, body language, let's see what we've got. Um, I've stayed positive, because it's working. Um, if it looks like we're going to start getting dominated or anything, I might drop it back to balance, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how it plays for the first 10, 15. We're already at 10 in. Didn't take long, did it? It's a good tackle from Wrench. He just ran and stood on the ball. That wasn't ideal. That wasn't what I was looking for. Ah, we'll go balanced, because I don't think we've had any of this game so far. Yeah, that tackle. And he just do is just poke it out of play, and we wouldn't have conceded then, but he didn't. And then just a mix-up between the goalkeeper not wanting to pick it up and the full-backs not getting the ball. Come on, I don't need to don't don't need to see it again. Come on. Right. Yeah, Valencia are currently top. But they had had played an extra game than us, so we'll see. We'll see how this one comes out. But Antonio throws it in. Vosuit. They have got a pretty good team around Madrid. But I'm also. This isn't good. Like, what's happening? What are you doing? Stop it. Stop conceding. That isn't. That doesn't fit with my narrative. This doesn't. I'm gonna berate him. I'll cheer him up. We don't know what to cheer again. The defense was just completely asleep. Our new centre back, do you know what I says like about a minute ago that he'll stop them scoring full stop? Yeah, I remember that. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, right. Um, I'm going back to positive because we're not doing anything in this game. Bertrand bumps it up to the right wing, but uh, no one's there. Knocks it back to Kulisewski. What are you doing here, kid? Okay, all the way over to Antonio. We know how dangerous he's been. Ooh, Demir gets a header on target, but goalie wasn't too troubled by it. Muller's just lumped that upfield. Patillas is just rapid. Oh, oh, it's just too easy for him. They're playing one pass and my whole defence is asleep. Oh, this is a problem. Oh, I was expecting an unbeaten season, all sorts. Evidently isn't going to be the case. We'll just be 3-0 down within 30 minutes at home. Oh, that was just, there's just no challenge. They make three passes and they're through my whole team. It's like we're playing against, I mean, it's like they're playing against kids. It's not ideal, is it? We haven't even had anything from the game. We have games like this with this formation, though. You do just get completely shut out. There's points like this where I should change my formation. I don't know what to change to. It's not ideal. Right. Antonio looks like he's dying. I'm going to throw a slip around. I honestly don't know how they're demotivated. Go on, make the difference for us. Okay, I've twisted some of them around. Egypt. That was a really, really, really poor half. Hopefully it can't be matched. Right, Ben Hayes has done some good goalkeeping, which is good of him. Smashed it up to Avalander. Demir's mm, through. Okay, one back. Fans here, having a wonderful time. They're seeing all sorts of goals. It's just a shame that most of them have been for the wrong team. We'll encourage. We'll skip. Right. Gonna go attacking. Try and get some something going forward. The shots are picking up at least. But I think they've just... Uh, Kind of sat back a bit now, I've never looked at it. They've done their job. A 6.2 from Mariba, Jesus. It's not even worth him turning up at that rate. Uh, we'll swap him for Demir. And we'll put on Altara and we'll put Kulisevsky behind. Uh, Saka. He's naff. I don't like him. Don't want him. Not interested. Get out of here. Sancho can come on for Antonio, because he just hasn't done anything. And I don't have Luis, so I can't bring him on. I'll leave another sub. Right, let's cross from Odegaard. I'm pretty sure my defender didn't even jump then. Right, Van Hees lumps it forward again. Altaro's got it. Driving into the area. Oh, he's chipped it over the goal. That would have been important. That would have been very important. If we could rescue a draw from this, I'll be over the moon, but it's not looking likely now, is it? Alright, 
clock is just ticking down now. There's five minutes left for us to score two goals. And that isn't that isn't that isn't something that happens against the computer, is it really? <laughs> Big old launch, but their defender wasn't wasn't even slightly concerned by it. Oh, this isn't this isn't ideal. Right, go on. Get yourself over there. Mohammed to Mendy Patilas. Passes it across the area. Oh god, it's too easy for him. Fortunately, the goalkeeper saved that, but either way, they just stop and then just pass it, and then my whole defence go. Just passed it. Well, we tried. Right, Kulisevsky. Let's get a second one back. Let's try and dent their goal difference at least. We've still got three minutes. It's, it's, it's doable. It's plausible. Not with a cross like that, it's not. Um, I honestly don't know what further I can do here. Let's go with that. Right, Bertrand. Wrench. Oh, okay, it's finished. And the game is done. Horrific. Absolutely horrific. Let's move on to Man U. One of the strongest teams on the game. Our lineup for Manchester United. We are playing Van Hees in goal again. Wrench and Saka outside of Guardiola and Gassetta. Kulisewski and Antonio outside of Mariba and Bertrand. And then Demia and Avalanda up top. We don't really have too much in the way of uh, rotation. Maybe an issue. We'll only find out in a few episodes. So, Manu are lining up with their 4-2-3-1. Which we've seen pretty much of over the last uh, few seasons. And, as I say, we're on our 4-4-2. This win, we played Espanyol, and we beat them 4-1. No hat-tricks, unfortunately, but a lot of goals, which is always fun. Now what we want to do is not lose again for our second episode. Game on the episode, should I say. Uh, we've dropped a balance for this when we're starting. Maybe we should have done the same against Barca, but... I No, we are Barca against Real Madrid, but... It's already happened now, so there's no point in worrying about it. Just be them next time. This is looking awfully quiet, which I th I'm pretty fine. I, I don't mind taking a draw away from home. Ideally, would look to get a win against them at home, but at the, uh, the Old Trafford, I nearly called it at Ye Old Trafford. Uh, if I can, uh, if I can take a point from there, I'll be happy. It's not a good start, is it? Oh, that's a good save, though. Hank, not messing about. Well done, Gav. Maragliano's popping it in. Gladiol's having none of it. He's gone back to him. He's whipped it in again. And Gazetta's not having any of it. Get out of here. Beautiful. Arsenal have drawn Ajax, Juventus and Zagreb. And I can't remember who Man City's team was. We don't know. Which is fantastic. Saka's popping it in. Gladiol's at near post, but Giunta's comfortable. Didn't really seem to phase him that much that save, did it? We've got quite a lot of uh, lot of tired legs out there, but uh, what we've also got is not a lot of people that can replace them, so they're just going to have to deal with it. I think I've got Sancho on the bench, who'll probably come on for one of them. Good tackle from Wrench. Pumps it up to Demir, who's... <laughs> Avalander is just kind of just wombling about in front of him. Oof. Okay, right. It's gone to Saka. He's passed it to left mid, but Antonio did wake up, fortunately. Right, Demir. Back to Antonio. And, oh, of course he's scored. This is not, he's nearly scored 10 already. I've only played my second game in the Champions League. He's doing pretty good. Well done, lad. It's a good ball. It's not a good ball at all. It was a good run. I, I, I forgot, forgot what happened already. Seconds ago, this happened. My brain's gone. Nah, done. I'm thinking we'll just kind of let that run to half time. Tell them they're all brilliant. Go out there and try and do the same again. Oh, look at it. Everyone's green. Beautiful. Keep an eye on Kulisevsky. He's already booked. He's tired. We'll get Sancho on for him shortly. Right. Lewis has thrown it to Pedri. He's returning to his, his home stadium. I forgot we're, forgot we're away from home. Got to be honest. Don't know what that was. 
Also not sure why the goalie didn't just catch it, but it's fine. They're going to... Oh, no, he's not. Henk, he's, he's having a game, isn't he? He smashed it up front. Avalander, Demir. He's going to through his defenders, and he's just kicked it over. Right. Throw from Lewis into Gale. Back to Lewis. He's whipped it in, but... Oh, Gvardiol's... Oh, he's giving away a penalty. Of course he is. All right, let's make that sub now. It's, it is shocking how many times you uh, managed to give away penalties against Man United. It's almost as if they're just handed penalties all the time. Almost. Right, go on, Hank. It is dive the complete opposite way. We'll encourage them once more. My left mid's got three more goals than Haaland. Just saying. Just saying. Right, Saka. Demia has hit the crossbar. Unlucky. What have we got? 60 minutes on the clock. We're not... I was going to say, they've had the better of the game so far, but we're just looking for taking a point. Denying them the three is my preference, really. So, out to Altara, who didn't, didn't even try and challenge it. There's our role player, Simon. Just sold him to him. Castaneda. Lewis. Back to Castaneda. Did that strike the goal? I'm not sure. Just says he went out for a goal kick. Right, 75 on the clock. We'll make another sub. We will bring Luis on. We've already done it. Don't worry about it. Mariba has not turned up. It's so frustrating. We'll bring Oriol on because he came on. He scored a goal in the last game. So, What does he want? What's his deal? Mazala. Deep lion. Yeah, you can go on that roll then. You're just not very good. Fair enough. Right, Diallo's out on the right for Manu. Are we going to tackle him? Yes. Thought we were going to give... Uh, Saka was going to get a second yellow then. Right, ten minutes left. What have we got? I'm happy just for no more highlights. We'll just play it through. We'll have a loss and a draw in an episode. Saka. Big old launch. That wasn't a launch. That was a triple. Do we? Uh, do you want to close him down? Get the ball back? No, no, we don't. Okay, centre lands through. He's dragged it just wide. More than happy with that. We'll encourage him once more. Green paces, always nice to see. Right, we've got less than a minute left on the clock here. Altara's got it on the right side. Bertrand to Demir. Back to Bertrand. Altara. He's gone in. Ah, goal is equal to it. He's launched it up to their right side. Uh, our left back is nowhere to be seen. Oh, there he is. He is. He is there to be seen. Big old slide tackle for the pass. Right. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Do your job. Blow your whistle. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. You got a whistle in your pocket. Pull it out. Blow it. Everyone can go in. Oh, there it is. Of course it is. It's nice to know that Fergie time's still a thing. Just saying. It's 93 and 35 from plus three. Just saying. That Old Trafford, they've been given a penalty and scored after the game should have finished. Just saying. Definitely not salty. We will return in the Champions League for our second game against Eindhoven. Um, not sure if it will be against Hetafe or Vigo, either side. But we'll, uh, we'll be back there. To be fair, that's probably our last Champions League game. I'm not going to bother showing you Norgeland. Um, but uh, if you enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick the bell, and thank you for your time. <laughs>